Hey! You don't see the camera there, idiot? Okay, and? Okay, so you can do that in the locker room or you can do it at home, but like, don't record other people while we're working out. Right? Well, I paid for my membership so I can record. I want to see. Hi, right there, Mama. Gyms are starting to prohibit filming inside their facilities, a move that has upset many influencers. What led to this decision? We're about to uncover the reasons behind this new policy. Stay with us as we delve into the motivations and implications of banning filming in gym. When filming at the gym needs to stop. So what, you think because you set your tripod up that everybody has to stop what they're doing just for your video? Absolutely not. Especially when you set your camera up right in front of a walkway to grab equipment and you zoom in to make it look closer than it really is. Here you see, you set your camera up a good 10 to 15 feet away. It's nobody's job to care about you filming or stop what they're doing for your video. And what's the big deal? You can easily edit that out or just leave it in. Nobody thinks that you're in the gym completely by yourself. But hey, if you want to film somewhere where no one's going to walk through your video and you can do as you please, build a home gym. The trend of gym influencers filming themselves in public gyms has become a significant issue that needs addressing. Many of these influencers are not just there to work out. They record videos that often cause disruptions. They set up cameras and expect others to avoid their filming area, which can lead to discomfort among regular gym goers. This situation sometimes escalates when influencers label anyone who accidentally gets caught in their video as a creep. These videos can then be shared across various social media platforms, portraying innocent gym users, particularly men, in a negative light. This practice has led to a loss of privacy and safety in the gym environment. People go to the gym primarily to exercise and relax, not to become unwitting participants in someone else's video content. When influencers film openly in a public space like a gym, they impose on others' personal space and freedom to move around comfortably. For instance, if an influencer places their camera in a common walkway and expects people to avoid it, it is not just unrealistic, but also unfair to other gym users. The expectation that everyone else should accommodate their filming disrupts the normal activity flow within the gym. The gym is a public venue where everyone should feel free to work out without fear of being filmed or judged. If influencers need a controlled environment for filming, they should consider creating a private space at home or renting a studio. This would ensure their activities do not infringe on the rights and comforts of others, maintaining a respectful and welcoming atmosphere for all gym patrons. This isn't gender-based as I got the next clip of some guys. Let's check it out. Hey! You don't see the camera there, idiot? Everyone in the gym. Bro, you go. We're trying to use yeah, something to the camera. Bro, I'm trying to show it. Yeah, we're trying to use shoulders. You can't see the video? Yeah, bro, it's awesome. Theory. Like you're trying to work out here and never going to look like us. I don't know what you're trying to do. Hey, why not? You got to tell me You got to tell me it seems unreasonable for influencers to expect everyone in a gym to stop their activities just because they are filming a video. People who watch these videos understand that they are shot in a public gym, where it's normal for other gym users to be present. If influencers don't want other people in their videos, they have options to manage this without disrupting everyone else's workout. Firstly, they can edit out any unwanted parts of their video where other people might accidentally appear. Video editing tools are widely available and can help influencers maintain the privacy of other gym goers while also creating the content they want. Alternatively, influencers who seek complete control over their filming environment should consider filming in a private space like their home. This way, they wouldn't impose on others' gym time or privacy. Considering everyone's right to privacy, another solution could be to ban the use of cameras in gyms. 
This policy would protect all gym users from being filmed without their consent and ensure that the gym remains a space where everyone can focus on their workouts without worrying about appearing in a video. Such a measure would help maintain the privacy and comfort of all gym patrons. Most influencers just come to create a scene, and that's all. Like this lady's video that went viral some time ago? Let's check it out. Uh, yeah, what do you do? My leg day warm up? No, don't give me that bullshit. I know you know what you're doing. So actually, I like it. You know what I see? You're actually trying to throw. You're actually trying to throw. Are you pointing at me? Stop! This is fucking ridiculous. Don't come to my gym with you can online, bro. Don't fucking do this on my gym. Don't fucking In this situation, the woman went to the gym not to exercise, but to make fun of other people there. When the gym owner approached her and asked her to stop, instead of understanding the problem, she started making fun of the owner as well. This could have turned into something else if wasn't handled in a proper manner, which can damage that person's reputation. Fortunately, this time, it was the gym owner who spoke up. There have been incidents where gym users, upset about being filmed without their permission, have confronted influencers. These confrontations can escalate quickly, and in some cases, people have even been arrested for assault just for asking not to be filmed. The video ended with the woman showing that her phone was smashed. This was probably done by someone who wanted to stop her from posting videos of other people on social media without their consent. This action, although drastic, highlights how important privacy is to people and how upset they can become when their privacy is violated in public places like gyms. Some influencers become toxic even when you try to approach them politely about filming. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, what are you doing? This is a gym. What okay. are you, okay? Okay, and? Right? Okay, so you can do that in the locker room or you can do it at home, but like, don't record other people while we're working out, all right? Well, I paid for my membership so I can record. I you can record yourself, but you can't record us, all right? And we're in the background of that video. Trust just me, nobody's yeah, looking at you. This is just for my content, so. I'm sure that's what you believe. <coughs> yeah, okay, let us get our okay. workout in. Can you just point it as another way? I, I ain't gonna lie, I was filming it. And I was sitting back, I was gonna file a complaint because I was actually phoning this, but you actually said something. So at this point, this is a hot mess. Thank you. Okay, just, well, I pay for look, my membership look, just uh, like, excuse look, you. Point it over here you. and do your workout here, and no one's in the background of your How about I point it wherever I like because uh, I pay for my own membership? Take your over here. And you guys can no, leave don't me don't alone. Too much of a rest you gotta, you gotta hit that How about leave me alone? Look, just point it. Excuse over you. Here. Point it over excuse there. you. My question is why can't you just point it that way? My question is why can't you all mind your business? Because this is at your gym. This is all of our gym. Okay, well, this section is mine since I paid for my membership. I paid for membership just like this you section. Okay, well, then go over there back to where you were and nobody was bothering you. But people you. come in this gym and they don't want to be on camera. I'm pretty sure, like, you got other people over There's here. There's cameras all over the gym. So? Yeah, those are for security. They don't get posted on social media. Okay, right? and trust me, nobody will ever notice you guys behind you. Why does everybody have to be a part of your content, though? I don't want to You're not. The myself. content's focused on me. Look, nobody clicks look, on it to see you. He doesn't like here. being in other people's yeah, videos. Good for you. Why don't you important. go somewhere else? No, because that, we've, we've got been here, bench first. here. We've been here. First. Are you joking? That sounds like a personal problem to me. No, but so like personal problem is that you need us in the back of your video. Just turn it around. I don't need you. I'd rather you not be there, but here we are. like this and put it in front of the wall. How about you stop punching my stuff? this way. In this situation, the woman at the gym continued to film despite it being against the rules. Instead of respecting the rules and other gym users' privacy, she chose to escalate the situation. Other people in the gym expressed their discomfort and asked her to stop filming, but she ignored their requests. They even tried to find a compromise by suggesting that she could film facing a direction where no one else would be in the background. However, she refused this solution, showing that her intentions were more about causing disruption than simply filming her workout. This kind of behavior can create a stressful environment in places meant for health and relaxation. Many gym goers face similar issues with individuals who use the space not for exercise, but as a stage for creating content that can sometimes invade privacy and create conflicts. When someone films in the gym without consideration for others, it not only breaks the gym's rules, but also shows a lack of respect for the personal space and comfort of other users. This disregard can lead to tension and an uncomfortable atmosphere, making it hard for others to focus on their fitness goals. A report given by The Guardian says, 
In the United Kingdom, a significant change is taking place in many gyms regarding the use of cameras and smartphones. Due to increasing concerns about privacy and the practical issues caused by equipment being used for filming, several gyms have started to prohibit the recording of videos and taking selfies. This move comes as influencers, fitness instructors, and even everyday gym users have become more interested in capturing images and videos of their fitness journeys. They often share these visuals on social media platforms to showcase their progress, routines, and techniques. However, this trend has not been without its complications. For instance, other gym members often end up being recorded without their permission, which is a breach of their privacy. Additionally, the use of tripods, lights, and other filming equipment can clutter the gym floor, making it difficult for others to use the space effectively. There have also been instances of public bullying, where individuals are mocked or criticized online through videos taken in gyms. In response to these issues, some gyms are now enforcing strict rules. They are either completely banning filming or setting specific guidelines, such as requiring individuals to film only in certain areas or asking for explicit consent from everyone who might appear in a video. These measures aim to maintain a safe and respectful environment for all gym users, ensuring that the space remains comfortable and welcoming for everyone. That will be all for today, so what do you think about this video? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we post a new video.